Hi, it's Mac with uh, Brumel High Seeds. Uh, today I thought we should talk about Fusarium and some common questions I get. Uh, first off, why should I use certified seed? Obviously, I'm a seed grower, so I like to recommend everyone uses certified seed all the time. Uh, with certified seed, you know you're getting a solid quality seed. You know you got good germination, you know you have zero Fusarium, and you know you got a pure product. Can I use my own farm safe seed? There's nothing wrong with using farm safe seed, but you gotta make sure you're sending a sample to the lab. Wait for those lab results to come back. Make sure you got good germination, and make sure you have zero fusarium. You don't wanna be putting in seed in the ground that's gonna limit your yield in the end. You wanna make sure you don't have fusarium in your seed, and you start off right. Uh, do I need to treat my seed? I always recommend that you treat your seed whether you're buying certified seed or you're using your own farm safe seed. You might have good seed with zero fusarium, but you should still treat because with your seed treatments, you're also getting, getting protection against soil borne diseases. You might not have your seed borne fusarium, but there's a good chance you already have the pathogen in your soil surrounding that seed. That seed treatment is gonna coat and protect your seed as it grows. That way, you're ensuring that you're off to a good start and you're gonna get a good strong plant right out of the gate. Another common question is, what can I do in season to reduce fusarium? First off would be when you're seeding, you are gonna wanna bump up your seeding rates. I've tried a couple different ways, reducing seeding rates, pushing them up a little bit, and I find that the best way to reduce fusarium is pushing your seeding rates a little bit higher. For example, in hard wheat, I would normally, a guy might seed around two bushel an acre, bump that up two and a half or a little bit higher yet. What that's gonna do is reduce tillering. You get a more even crop stand. You're gonna get a more even maturing crop and it's gonna develop and mature at the same rate. A thicker, denser canopy is gonna push those crops and reduce tillering. It's gonna make sure that you get more main stems rather and fewer tillers. What that's gonna do is when you have lots of tillers, if you have a low seeding rate, you can get good yield still, but you're gonna have a more variable maturing crop. So when you go in to your crop and you're scouting and you're gonna go, you're planning to go spray some fungicides at flowering in your wheat. You're gonna walk in there and if you got all these tillers and main stems, they're gonna be maturing at a different rate and it's gonna be really tough to decide if you should go or wait a couple days, and it's gonna to be tough to decide and, and, and to figure out what the stage is at and if it's all flowering or not. When you bump up your seeding rate, you have a lot more main stems. You're never gonna get rid of your tillers altogether, but you're gonna reduce those numbers. You're gonna get more main stems. And what that's gonna do is make it easier to stage and it's gonna make it easier to decide when you wanna spray. So you can walk in there and see, yep, yeah, I gotta spray now. You can go in there and get a good even coat on all those heads and they're all flowering at the same time. What that does is when you know it's going to start flowering right away or it's just starting to flower and it's all your crop is even and starting to flower, you can go and hit it and give your crop that six day to eight day protection with your fungicide. And you're going to be able to cover more of that crop at the time that it needs it and get the best bang for your buck out of your fungicides. I think that's all for today. Again, it's Mac with Brumel High Seeds. If you've got any questions, don't be afraid to give me a shout on our website at brumelhighseeds.com. Follow us on Twitter. And if you like the video, hit like and subscribe and watch for more videos as we post them. Thanks.